Robert Mills is thought by many to have been America's first native-born, professionally trained architect. He lived from 1781 to 1855, and we still marvel at his buildings and monuments. We'll look at the work of this South Carolinian next, under the kudzu. Robert Mills was born in Charleston on August 12, 1781, the son of William Mills, a native of Dundee, Scotland. William Mills was a successful tailor and planter in Charleston. After graduating from the College of Charleston, Mills moved to Washington, D.C., where he studied under James Hoban, the Irish architect who designed the original White House. Mills assisted Hoban in the design and construction of the President's Mansion. Hoban's original White House design featured a three-story facade, nine bays across. Hoban and Mills worked well together, and Hoban became his first major mentor. Mills' growing notoriety captured the attention of Thomas Jefferson, the first president to live in the new house. Jefferson, a noted architect himself, soon became another mentor for Mills. Both Jefferson and Mills were students of the neoclassical design. In 1820, Robert Mills was appointed the acting commissioner of the Board of Public Works in South Carolina, and in 1823, he was made superintendent of public buildings. In this position, Mills was responsible for the design and construction of most of the public buildings during the middle of the 19th century. He was also responsible for many churches and educational buildings across the state. Examples of his work include the Lancaster County Jail, the Columbia Bible College, the Union County Jail, and the Charleston First Baptist Church. Sadly, some of his earlier works have not survived. These include the Old Record Building in Greenville and Abbeville's Third Courthouse. Mills is perhaps most famous for designing the Washington Monument. His design was selected from several submitted. Construction on the monument began in 1848 but was halted in 1854. Mills died in 1855. The monument was not completed until 1884, nearly 30 years after Mills' death. When the monument was completed, it was the tallest stone structure in the world and the tallest obelisk, standing 555 feet, five and one eighth inches tall. In addition to his many architectural achievements, Robert Mills published his Atlas of South Carolina in 1825. The Atlas included detailed maps of all of South Carolina's counties. They were then called districts. I'm Brian Scott. Join me next week for a lot more history right here under the kudzu.